time for another food video and today we are going to be trying something that's called gausa. Gausa, it's kind of like a shepherd's pie if you haven't tried it before. It's made with yellow mashed potato and you can get lots of different fillings. So we've ordered two different varieties and that should be coming soon and it's going to be delicious. I love gausa. And while we wait... While we wait, while we wait, we're going to have our favorite snack. Canchita, which is the fried corn with salt on top of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm loving this stuff. And I'm always amazed by the size of these kernels. Seriously, it never gets old. Look at that. I know, they're just, they're gigantic. Massive. They're like twice the size of what, what we're used to having back at home in Canada. The Kelsa has arrived and it is a thing of beauty. How excited are you for your food, Sam? Yeah, it looks like artwork. I almost feel guilty talking into it. <laughs> almost. Almost. Okay, so let's talk about the key ingredients that make up Gausa. So you have your yellow potato. Yep. Um, lime and ahi, which is the yellow hot pepper. Yep. And in terms of fillings, you can have lots of different ones. So Sam went with the classic, yeah. which has... Mine has chicken. And you can also see that there's uh, some avocado here on the avocado. side as well. So let's. And that looks like some mayo, a mayo sauce on top. Right, I'm just gonna dig right in, going right to the bottom. Ooh. It's like cutting into a tower. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is really good. Yeah. 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 Okay. With this particular gauza, it's really salty. You can tell they've added a lot of salt to it. But it's just like, when you get that much yellow potatoes, it's just, oh man, it's so good. It's almost like having like mum's mashed potatoes back <laughs> home or something. But with much better dressings, you know, with the, with the chicken and the sauce and, and the avocado. Oh man, that's good. Okay, and let's talk about the chicken. Is it shredded chicken like the one we had in Ajilina, yeah, or is it, it kind of chucked? No, it, it 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 is it is shredded chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One more bite for quality control. Research purposes. <laughs> that's good stuff. And I am beyond excited for mine because I saw causa acevichada on the menu, and that is a ceviche causa. Look wow. at that. So I've got my my fish, a little bit of fish that's been kind of cooked in lime. I have my red onions. I have my hot chili peppers and of course my, my yellow mashed potato with a bit of mayo. Super fancy over I there. I know. And if you know how much I love ceviche, like this is just the perfect dish for me. Really. You're doing a good job, job of uh, toppling it though already. I don't know why I'm blowing on my food. That's such a habit. I'm like, <laughs> it's cold. It's a cold dish. Mm. Oh yeah. The best of both so worlds. So good. <laughs> the lime. So much lime. And it's so tangy. A little spicy. And those little pieces of red hot chili. Mm. This is my favorite. I haven't even tried yours, but I know this is my favorite. Mm. So what would appear as Sam has food envy. So I'm reaching across the table to grab some of Audrey's. Yeah, mine looks so you know good. What? You can't I, resist. I do like mine, but I can't I can't leave this restaurant without at least trying them on the ceviche too. Well, what do wow. you think? Wow, I've never had gausa with ceviche, so this is this is a really unique experience for me. I love it. I mean, I think I pref I do prefer yours to mine too. Yeah. yeah. And another thing I love about this dish about gausa, it's all the colors. Like, look at that—the bright yellows, the purple from the onion, the red. It's got lots of greens. It's just such a colorful meal. It's an attractive meal. It's art on a plate. Art on a plate. There you go. Okay, so it is now time for price point. So in terms of price point, that came to 45 soles, which is 13 US dollars. Not bad value. We're both leaving really full. 
-hmm. And what's kind of funny is that this is typically served as an appetizer, not as a main. Yeah. But if you eat it one per person, it totally can be a main. It's so filling. It's I mean, it's potato. Yeah. That's it, heavy. It's very carb intensive. So if you're in Lima or Peru, definitely check out Gauza. It's something we highly recommend.